Content that facilitates the sale of a certain illegal or regulated goods and services like drugs isn't allowed on YouTube. I didn't think we really did that. We didn't though. We don't do that. We don't do that. Yeah, I'm Moonrock Lobster. And today's a little bit of a sad day. So, okay, YouTube hit us on, on a Patreon video, which is wild because it's, I mean, it's just raw uncut footage of the videos you guys get. And uh, basically they were like, so-and-so, we got a strike, we, got a bunch, we can't do a bunch of shit anymore. Like we can't pin comments, we can't put links in our descriptions. Like we can't do anything. So YouTube's fucking around with us. So we're thinking we might have to just like de basically delete everything we got so far. Like we'll probably leave like certain things up that like seem to be like doing, you know what I mean? Okay, like little tutorials and shit, we'll probably leave them. But like, I think a, like we're gonna delete a lot of our content. Well, we'll give you guys like a week, a week, but like a lot of shit's gonna come down. So if you want, if you want some to like binge watch some shit, get it, get it done now because a lot of the stuff's coming down and we're gonna start not being able to show what we're smoking on camera. We're gonna have to censor that stuff out starting right the fuck now. We're gonna start censoring that out. Unfortunately, I would give the uncensored versions to Patreon, but since <laughs> Patreon actually works through YouTube, like basically Patreon gets the unlisted like links to the videos that have like all the raw footage and everything. And that actually goes to YouTube too. And YouTube actually hit us for a Patreon video, which is crazy to me, <laughs> for a sale of regulated goods, which we don't do. Like they said that we were like selling drugs, basically. They're like, like eliciting the sale of drugs, but we don't, we don't do that <laughs> technically. But anyway, so since that, like those are gonna have to be censored too. But we can post pictures of what we're smoking on Patreon and in our Discord. So join our Discord. The link's not in the description. You just have to find it somehow. Uh, you can go to my Instagram and go to my link tree and my Discord link is in there. And speaking of Instagram, Instagram is also with me about posting shit. Like last couple times I posted shit, I've got hit and they've like removed my post. And like, I literally can't tag people in the post anymore. I'll try my best to like post pictures of the stuff I'm smoking on Instagram too. But Instagram has been with me. So I don't wanna get my Instagram also banned. I feel like, I feel like we're just on the verge of bans everywhere. And it's super frustrating. Also for all you Easter egg people, yeah, this was filmed later. The lights are off. I forgot about this part. I wanted to add it back in. So anyway, we're transitioned back in what I was saying before, cause we probably didn't find a good spot for this to go. I'm not gonna lie. So this is probably gonna start with me in the middle of a random sentence and it's not gonna make much sense for me transitioning from now to here, but I'm gonna try to do this anyway. Uh, and Patreon will get exclusive pictures of like everything we smoke, like nice detailed, like close up pictures. We're gonna give give Patreon that. But starting today, you guys are gonna start seeing like a little bit more censorship from us. And also I can't say the word anymore because apparently if I say the word uh, YouTube can with me that way too so the good news for your boy is that if we censor me saying and we censor out like this kind of stuff and like a couple other things we actually might be able to monetize which would also be cool and maybe stick to like what we're doing but we're also gonna be starting up like a second channel of like like more like just like regular stuff not like not like non-weed related stuff so if you guys want to come check me out on another channel. It's gonna be called Scramble Craigs. We don't have it up yet, I don't think. But like when we do, I'll obviously let you guys know where it is. If, once again, join my Discord. I'll promote the shit out of it in my Discord channel once we get it up and running. I haven't really decided if I want the channel to be called Scramble Craigs or Fried Craigs. I know it's only one of me and I'm calling myself a plural, but let me know you guys' thoughts in the comments. Should I be Scrambled Craigs or Fried Craigs? I know my at on this on this thing is already Scrambled Craigs. So I'm gonna have to change this one up if, if we do go with Scrambled. I mean, it's gonna be a whole thing, but let me know your thoughts down in the comments. But it's gonna be like me doing like more regular stuff. Like I wanna try 
Like, I want to just basically try a bunch of shit over there. Just like, more like friendly content. You know what I mean? Like family friendly kind of shit. But also like, you know, still me being me. Like I'm not gonna not be fucked up in those videos. I'm probably going to be very, very high in those videos. But I want to do like, kind of like reaction type stuff. And I really want to try that carnivore diet. I've been putting on pounds like crazy lately. I don't know why, but like I seen this thing called like the caveman diet and the carnivore diet. Like I kind of want to try that. So maybe like I'll document like some of that shit. I don't know, just like a bunch of shit. But anyway, you guys didn't click on this video to hear about that, but that's what's going on with me and YouTube f***ing with me. But you came to see this, this honey pen with a flexible tip. Uh, I think it's supposed to look kind of like a marker. I don't really think it looks like a marker, but it does look like a honey pen. It comes with a bunch of shit in the back, including a user manual. Uh, some Q-tips, this USB-C type charger, that was in there, and maybe that's it? I think that was it. I think that was everything that was in there. The f*** was that random noise? <laughs> what was that? I don't know. Inside here, you got your little flexible tip. The tip is cool because it has a little scooper on it for your dabs, and then inside here is just like that same kind of coil that we saw when we did the honey cup and the honey mod, right? I think that's what it was called. Yeah. Uh, it was, it's kind of just that same coil. It's like a quartz bucket with a little coil at the bottom that heats up. But uh, that's basically it. It kind of just fits together like this. It has a button on the front. It has a charger on the side. They sent us purple and white. Danny's favorite color. So Danny's probably gonna want to keep this. But let's try it out. You're gonna see <laughs> a slightly more censored version of what we usually do. But today we're gonna be using this Paloma Pie by the homies over at Wildflower Hemp Company. Thank you, Wildflower Hemp Company, for sending this shit out to me. No close-ups anymore, unfortunately. We usually do the close-ups on the side, but I think I think we're we we can't do that <laughs> anymore either. But um, let's fill it up and take a hit. Cheers. Oh, that looks so good. Mmm. That smells really nice, too. It's kind of big. <laughs> It'll be okay. It's not bad. The wax is really good. The wax tastes amazing. Like, I just feel like, I don't know. It's not like the greatest of like little setups, obviously. It's it's cool. I think it's supposed to look like a marker. I don't think it really looks like a marker, <laughs> but also I think it's like, why would you want it to look like a marker? It's for dads. Like, I get it. Maybe try to be secretive, do this shit at work or something. But like, I'm, I'm glad it doesn't look like, 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 Exactly, like a marker, you know what I mean? I've never been like the biggest fan of like dry dabs either. I do like water function on my shit. I feel like the the mod was really cool because that also like looked like a vape. Like it had the same like basic setup. This is a little bit different because like I think the airflow actually comes in through the cap and then down and then back up. I'm not real sure how they worked that out, but I think that's what it does. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, it's definitely how they did it. I like the fact that it's USB-C charging. Uh, functions, it's five clicks on and off. Once you turn it on, it like does like a little white ring and it like does like a little quick 20 second like, like preheat thing. After that, you put your dab in, it melts up, put your cap on, and then you select your cap temperature. Three clicks to select your temperature. It goes green, blue, and then like a yellow, like a honey color. And I always go on the lowest settings. I'm a flavor chaser. If you've been watching for a while, you know that I usually just go on the lowest settings. I'm, I'm a, I'm a low kind of guy. I don't. I'm not like a child. A, I'm not like a cloud chaser. <laughs> Danny very much cloud chases. She always ramps up the volume on these things and chucks gigantic clouds. But I'll probably give this to Danny. I probably won't be using this a lot. It pulses and then it turns, turn, 
turn solid when it when it's ready to hit. It's been solid for a minute now, so I'm just wasting it. It's a cool little device. Like they probably don't run that much money. I'll leave. I can't leave links in the comments anymore. I would I would pin my link in the comments, but I can't do that. Once again, if you go to my Discord, I have like a bunch of different links in my Discord that like for all the companies that send me stuff. If you want to go, if you want to go over there and check it out. Um, but this is the Wax Made Honey Pen. It says it came with two quartz balls. I didn't see that. I didn't see that in here. It says it comes with the pen kit, which we got USB-C cable user manual, quartz balls, two of them, and four cotton swabs. We actually did not receive the quartz balls. We got everything else. What the heck? <laughs> but, shit happens sometimes, man, you know what I mean? Little shipping mishaps and shit, so I get it. I'm not, I'm not gonna bust their balls about it. Patreons, I'll see you guys in a second for a little bonus sesh. We're gonna hit on this again, maybe clean it out, go again. We have extra turp balls. We can see how it works with, with, with the turp pearls in there. I almost forgot to mention, it also has a manual setting where you just like hold the button down and it'll heat it up to whatever temperature you use. And like you can basically choose how long you want your hit to be by just holding the button down. But also you should probably hold it down longer than I just did because it's got to warm up and everything. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. YouTube don't kill me uh and i'll see y'all next time peace i guess you could put it like in a pocket like that it looks like a posca paint pen to me a paint pen yeah like a posca paint pen i don't know what that means there's more uh brands than posca but they're like the most popular one that i've seen and it's just a paint oh look at that this whole thing comes out Oh, snap. All right. This whole thing sits in there like this. But also, like, this comes off. And this comes out. Okay. Oh, so the dab tool's longer. <laughs> so the, I was using it with this tiny-ass dab tool. Who f***ing knew? <laughs> Fight the power. Fight the power. We got to fight the power. That's me.